Hey, what's going on everyone? Anthony here and today we're finally going to reveal the aquarium that I hinted at in my last video. So stick around. Alrighty, so in my last video, I did mention that I was getting a new aquarium and that video is a little update on my flower horn Cosmo. I did move him out of his 90 gallon into a smaller aquarium while I'm redoing this tank. I needed to redo the seals and re-put the braces on there and all that good stuff. So in the meantime, I moved Cosmo, his 20 gallon aquarium across the way because I needed to make room for another aquarium. That's the one that we're talking about today. So, uh, uh, about two or three days ago, my cousin texted me. He said, hey, I have this aquarium, blah, blah, blah. Would you be interested in buying it, right? So I said, absolutely, no problem. He, he sold it to me for a very, very good price. So shout out to my cousin Ray for that, hooking me up really, really nicely. So um, today we're gonna go over the new aquarium. I, I know judging by a lot of my fan base, not everybody's gonna like this aquarium, but I'm in love with it. So hopefully you guys will be too. And if not, that's okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the new aquarium and see what we have going on. Alrighty, so here it is. This is the Nouveau 38 Mini Saltwater Aquarium. Um, now, my cousin had this aquarium for, he said, around nine years. So it's been going for a long time and it it looks amazing. Um, it was a little bit dirty when I got it, but I did, I did manage to clean it up quite a bit and make it look uh, nice and new again. So uh, a couple of things, he did provide me with a ton of live rock. That's not the man-made rock, that's actually live rock in there. And he did provide me with uh, both clownfish that you see and also a uh, large red peppermint shrimp. Um, like I said, he gave me all the lighting and all the filtration. So the light on there is the AI Prime 16 HD. It's actually the same light that I have on my 18 gallon nano uh, reef, reef aquarium. I really like it, super easy to use. Um, you just set it up with the app and it takes care of itself. So it's on its own schedule. I don't have to worry about it. Plus, it really it really does well for corals as well. And that is gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing in this aquarium as well. I'm going to be just blasting this thing with corals. I cannot wait. Um, I can actually finally get some of the bigger corals that I wanted to get for my nano aquarium, but I couldn't because it's too small. So now I can finally fit them in this 38 gallon aquarium. Now it's still not huge. I still can't get, you know, the, the biggest fish that I want to get, but I can still do a lot more with this much more space. Already, so in terms of the filtration, what I have going on in here, I did add a power head. This aquarium does come with two oscillating output nozzles up top that slowly circulate and help push the water around in various directions throughout the day. But I did, I did add the the power head uh, just to give it a little bit of extra flow. Um, I also did add a couple more things of filtration. I added a little bit more sponge back there, and I also added a little bit of the Kemi Pure Elite. That is this product right here. I love this product. I use this in a lot of my aquariums and it really helps to make the water um, so much more clear and it, it because it has carbon in it and it also helps battle algae as well, which is always a plus. Nobody in this hobby likes algae, right? So I did add some of that in there. I added two, uh, a few more sponges and all that good stuff. So my plans for this aquarium, uh, like I said, I'm gonna be um, getting a ton, ton of corals for it and I'm also going to be um, getting maybe, maybe one or two more fish. I'm not entirely sure yet if I wanna leave it just the clownfish only system or maybe add a couple little guys in there. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see in terms of fish and corals moving forward with this aquarium. Um, one quick note that I did want to mention is that when, so whenever I got this aquarium, I, I did replace the sand that was in it with new sand. So in the whole move, almost all of the, the beneficial bacteria died in all the entire move, right? So um, what I am doing with this tank is every day I'm dosing sea chem stability just in order to bring that biological filtration back um, because so much bacteria did die but hopefully um, within within the week or so that I am going to be dosing sea chem stability everything can get back on track again but anyway so there it is for you that's the big reveal this tank i do have a lot of plans with this aquarium moving forward uh, i hope you guys really like it again let me know in the comments what you guys think what you guys want to see in the future uh, any suggestions for me anything like that okay well anyway that wraps it up for today i thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one